dentro de ti. Oh, Jack. <laughs> What a way to wake up. Uh, hi, and uh, hey Jack. <laughs> and so we're here at Mikave Estates with our, oi. So we're here at Mikave Estates with our good friend Doyle. Look, this is the situation. Hello Lana. This farm, uh, Paul Doyle, he, he won Cup of Excellence in 2019. And so arguably this is an estate with some of the best coffee in Colombia and some of the best coffee in the world. So it's a great place to learn how to taste coffee. Look. <laughs> It's a great place to learn how to taste coffee and get our palates into um, tasting 90 point plus coffees over and over again. I mean, what a privilege. There'll be some new varieties as well. <laughs> Sorry. There'll be some new varieties as well, like Sudan Rame and, uh, and the Dwarf Geisha, which I've never tried before. It's a really rare mutation. And if we're lucky, we're going to travel to the flagship farm at Santuario too and see how things work there. That's the one that actually won the couple of eggs. Okay, so why don't we go for a little walk around this farm. Uh, this is the geisha patch, I believe. Geisha is a really exotic varietal. Probably the most beautiful uh, varietal of coffee in terms of its form and shape. It's like a little Christmas tree. Uh, if you look at these ones, they're like cones. And there's there's a forest of bamboo just over there. I don't know how far we're going to make it down before things just get too muddy. But let's see what we can do. Ah. And then afterwards, I think we can go to the, um, where they dry these coffees. So I think from this point, we're going back up into the coffee uh, out of the bamboo forest. And uh, 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 everything's so steep. And I think it's more geisha over here. But they have like three or four varietals. And uh, yeah, look at this. It's so pretty. Oh. The whole world of geisha and bourbon trees. I wonder if we go up this way, if there will be a view. Seems like there will be a view. So, let's give it a go. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on uh, how I met Paul and how I want you to get to know him too and, and essentially his generosity because without him I don't know uh, exactly how my coffee journey would have gone. I, it was two years ago that I knew nothing about coffee. I was just extremely enthusiastic and extremely curious and I was like kind of putting myself out there and working on like uh, volunteering basically on farms and volunteering in cafes and and things like this and uh, and he gave me the time of day and he allowed me to come onto this farm uh, from off, off a phone call 
somebody called him and said there's a guy from Britain in town uh, he's curious about coffee can you explain things to him in English because my Spanish was really bad and and, and nobody really spoke English in, in, in the town that I was talking to anyway and so I, I came here I didn't know who Paul was uh, I didn't know he had won the Cup of Excellence in 2019 uh, I turned up here asked, I, and I was amazed by the farm amazed by the coffee and I asked him questions and he allowed me he allowed me to explore uh, ask whatever questions I wanted to ask I asked him for work and he said yeah I'll put you to work and he gave me a job in the Marcasina that thing back there which is the drying space it's a very very important part of the coffee process and really because of this um, friendship was built but also uh, a coffee journey began for me and and having been here um, I was able to talk to other people about it and they would take me seriously and so I feel extremely lucky um, to know Paul. I, I think you guys are going to be extremely lucky to, to get to see him and know him on, on a human level in this, in this trip uh, more than just being like the coffee guy, um, the ultimate coffee guy <laughs> and, and, and that's fun. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi, my name is Paul Doyle. I'm the owner of Macava in Marseille, and we also have a finca in San Duario, Rizeralda. Uh, in 2019, we won the Cup of Excellence with our geisha. Here we have two different varieties of geisha. If you look at the branches here, you see that this one has a S curve, kind of a droopy. This, I believe, is a little more uh, uh, an antiguo. It's a an older version of geisha. This geisha here, if you look at the uh, ramas, they're at an angle, 45 degree angle. This is a, a newer strain. Nice. So, what's the difference in taste? I don't know. I think I have a hunch that this one tastes better. But a mesca, <laughs> it's really it's good. Cool. It's like uh, uh, a, a smoothie that we had this morning. Mixing orange <laughs> and uh, mora and banana together. It's really nice. Cool. Um, are the are the plants in that direction different? Uh, well, this there's a Lorena plant there, uh. and I believe that is a Sudan Rume coffee. Yeah, in fact, I know that is. Okay. Sudan Rume. Sudan Rume has a similar branch structure to the modern geisha. That's correct, yeah. Looks like it. Cool. Nice. Over, over here we have our marcasina, our solar dryer. Nice. You want to come in and we can put the boat. So this is our solar dryer here. We have four different levels of coffee drying. We we'll, we'll put fresh coffee in the top, the hottest, and then bring it down to control the temperature. Uh -huh. We've got our new mesh here for uh, the uh, coffee to dry more uniformly too. It's got bigger, bigger holes. Yes. And so it's easier to dry. And so, and so yeah. So this is your solar, solar drying yeah. space. We have shade cloth up above to uh, control the temperature too. Uh, we don't want it to get too hot in the marketing. What's too hot? Uh, about 40. Okay. About 40, it will affect the uh, coffee. Yeah, it's because the coffee dies, basically, the embryo, the embryo dies. Yeah, the embryo dies in the mid, mid 40s. Uh, okay, sure. that's cool. It smells so good in here. It does. What do you think it smells of? Well, over here, we have coffee that's dried. Oh, wait, it got moved. <laughs> it got moved, so here. I don't know. Coffee and it was uh, had lots of fruit, raisins, exactly uh, mango, I think. Mango, yes, exactly. It's like chocolatey strawberry, it smells so good in here. Yeah, this is it, it got moved. So, actually, this is a really good. Uh, Example of a natural coffee, right? This is, this is, this is what it looks coffee. like. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, with the fruit dried 
on the seeds. Uh -huh. Later, these uh, seeds will be uh, cleaned, or the, the fruit, the dry skin called cascara is taken off. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. That's how it works. Dentro de ti, en tu cuerpo, 